So now let's write a code for updating the uh, user information from the database. So for that, again, come to this user controller. So inside here, so let's create a method called uh, update. So let's write export const and just type update and just create a synchronous function update with the uh, parameter request and response. And inside here, again, type try catch so simply just copy this uh, error handling internal server error from get user by id method so let's go inside here the try block so inside here so again we just have to uh, get the id from the parameter so let me just simply uh, copy the same thing from here until this user exists so just copy and just simply paste inside here so we will just check the user by id so if the user doesn't exist with that id so we will just display user not found so if there is any user so we will now update that user so for that let me just uh, type await and just simply type user dot and so we will be using the method something called find by id and update so you can just see find by id and update and we will just pass the parameter id and also uh, request dot body and similarly so we'll just type new so just type new true so here you can see the three parameters id requested body and new column true so this id will basically extract the user information from the parameter and this requested body is basically for updating the uh, user from the request body so new column true will basically specify that the function should return the updated document rather than the original one so once this is done so we just have to uh, basically send the response so just type uh, response dot status and just type 200 okay so just send the 200 okay status code so in json so we will basically display this updated data so let's store this inside some variable so let's call it uh, const updated data and we will just uh, return this in the json so just type updated data so just simply save that and just go into the user route so here so we just have to type route dot so just type put so put is basically for updating so this is the http method for update so inside this put so we just have to type something like uh, update so just type update slash user slash so since we will be passing the id here as well so just type id and just simply get that method of update from the controller so just uh, be sure to uh, import here as well so just pass that here and now we should be able to uh, test our api in the postman so just go inside the postman and again let me just add a new request and instead of this get so we just have to uh, change this into put so inside here so just simply provide the url so the url should be something like http colon slash slash localhost Eight thousand slash API slash. So since we have provided update user and the ID, so just simply type uh, update slash user slash. So we just have to put the ID. So just uh, we just want to update this demo user. So let me just simply copy this ID from here and simply paste inside here and in the body so we just have to simply pass the json so just choose raw here and so we just have to provide the json body so let me just go into the post here so this is showing get here so just save this and let me just simply copy this from here and just go inside the put and let me just simply paste inside here and instead of this demo user so we just want this to be something like lena and just provide the email something like lina at the red gmail.com and if i just click on send so this should have displayed this uh, updated data lina and the email lina at the red gmail.com so if i just try to check this data into the database so this should have updated here so originally it's demo user and demo at the red gmail.com and if i just refresh this so you can see the data has been successfully updated so it means the update functionality is also working so once this is done so now we will be writing the code for deleting the user from the database